Today we're in New York City's Central Park with Eric Silver, our bronze expert, to learn a little bit about Balto here. Eric, tell me about Balto's history. Well, Balto is a very famous dog. Uh, in 1925, there was a diphtheria epidemic in Nome, Alaska, and there was a serum to fight the epidemic, and it was in Anchorage, and it had to get to Nome. It was over a thousand miles, and the last 600 miles uh, were covered by 20 teams of dog sleds. And Balto here was the leader of the last dog sled. He covered 54 miles in the worst imaginable conditions. It was uh, whiteout conditions. It was 30 below zero, and Balto made it. In 1925, a group of New Yorkers got together a fund to commission this sculpture. It was done by the sculptor Frederick Roth. In 1925, there was an unveiling, and Balto was actually here for the unveiling of this sculpture. We definitely had to wait our turn to get up here to take a closer look at Balto since he's such a popular spot for children to, to climb on him and, and interact with the piece. Tell me a little bit about his patina. Well, usually bronze has a very dark brown patina and there's still uh, that dark patina is on uh, many parts of it, but up here where all the kids sit down on it, it's really rubbed away the patina. So what we're seeing here is the actual metal of the bronze. There's really nothing that can be done. They could re apply a new patina, but it would just get worn away. So I think for the way it is now, I think this is the way it's going to stay. Balto here looks like he's actually panting. There's a lot of movement and vivaciousness to him. Would you say that Roth's works are energized in that way? That's right, they're just very, very well observed and you get the feeling that this was a real dog that lived and did this heroic deed. Roth was quite prolific as a sculptor and he, he specialized in animal sculptures. As a matter of fact, here in Central Park there's a fabulous bronze that's about eight feet high of a honey bear sort of dancing with his tongue out that's really spectacular. And there's also another sculpture of dancing goats. Dancing goats. Dancing goats, yes. Over the years, I've had a number of small sculptures by him, say about this big, maybe 12, 15 inches uh, long, and they can bring in the five to $7,000 range uh, in a gallery situation. Eric, I had so much fun learning about Balto with you today, and as a dog lover myself, I think it's really special to learn about the story of this animal and also to be in such a perfect place to go for a walk with your dog. It's great that we're shooting on a dog day afternoon. <laughs>